Hello and welcome back to Storytime Gamer. We are playing Horizon Forbidden West. Um, we did some uh, story driven quests last time. We have uh, gotten permission to sound the horn to get everyone back to work here in Chain Scrape. Um, we're going to take what I would call like a breather episode. I had mentioned before that I didn't want to do the machine strike game, but I think I, I would it would be disrespectful and not good um, to the uh, uh, developers if I didn't even try a game within their game. Uh, so we're going to explore that today. I'm actually going to level up Aloy as well, and there is a quest. We're going to go over here and talk about um, and see what's going on here. So uh, actually, let's let's do that first. And thanks again for everybody who's watching this. If you haven't already, like, subscribe. Now look at this. Those kids right there. That's such a good little AI development and making this place just so lively. Let me buy you a drink, I never forget. I think... Next thing I know, I'm and all I can do is hope that it's like that kind of idea, that development um, of the the worlds and the the people in all the other places that we get to visit. Because this is sort of the uh, opener area still. Um, I definitely do want to take time here. It's like the White Orchard level area in um, Witcher Three, so it's, it would be bad not to take time. So let's see what's going on over here. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last century if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of Chain Scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? Let's do some investigation. Um, injury. You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, Tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. Um, let's ask about Corvin. Who's Corvin? He's their foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olven's wrath than die buried in rubble. All right, and I think we got enough information. Let's see, it might be of help. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I would appreciate that. Thank you. New side quest, Deep Trouble. Sweet. And uh, we're going to check our map to see where that is. Um, well, maybe I have to have it marked. Because I think that... Oh, no, that's actually a different area. Okay. Interesting to know. And that's a whole area we haven't explored yet. Um, before we go that direction, we're going to go over here. We're going to... Take care of that. And see, here's the interesting thing. So you got your side quests, Bristlebacks, and then Deep Trouble. Deep Trouble is level 5. We're level 6, so that means we should have no problem doing it, and we'll get some extra XP, we'll get some skill points. Well, if we do this one, we'll definitely get some XP, but at this rate, it's a one level above me, so it would be actually a little bit more challenging if I went now, so it wouldn't be bad to do this first before doing that one. And obviously, we're already one level above the story quest, which is not a bad thing, but I always like to try to get in uh, to a main quest. Uh, definitely a little bit more OP 
That way it's not too much of a struggle to get through. I think the worst decision I ever did, and it, and it was because I was just trying to finish the game, was in Final Fantasy XII. I went against the final boss, and it just became uh, this <laughs> entire fight of me just trying to keep everyone healed and alive or not knocked out. So that was that was interesting. All right, let's talk to our friend over here. It's our friend from the first game. Where is she? Look, I would have missed this if I didn't come back in here. Supplies. Yeah, then it's your stash. And not your mustache. Well, that's cool. Huh. Well, where is our friend? Is that an entirely different area? Let's check over here. Oh, is that dude? I thought I had a friend. Huh. Maybe that's what I was missing. Okay. Oop. There's a pole there, man. Talk to this herbalist to see if there's any items there that he could sell us. Um, cause yeah, it's, it's easier, or it, 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 the idea is you go and you go into the world and you get your own items and it's your health is my business free. So that way you don't have to, you know, buy it and items will definitely be a lot more expensive if I would come here, especially once I learn, I guess the, um, the recipe to make these myself. What's the cleanse potion do? Potent stat status, removing defense, boosting brew. Cures all elemental and status effects. 30% elemental defense for 30 seconds. That's nice. That's good to know in case we go against uh, um, something that's, I guess, he acid heavy and probably a poison heavy type of character. Um, and that's where the different outfits will come into play, too, because Aloy has different outfits that will help out um, in those kind of situations. So. Let's do Machine Strike. Sorry, I i don't know why I ran this way. Because I was following the golden line. Let's try mach Machine Strike. Let's go through that. And that is... over this way. Aloy. No one Change wants to play that brew. No? Anyone. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. She's a character Since from the first game. Expected. <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <laughs> <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Good rule. Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. Let's see. Let's ask just a couple I personal you'd be questions. Back in free heap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's got to be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Okay. Um... Let's ask more about the bristlebacks. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there was some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. 
But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. So that was an interesting bit of dialogue we got there. So it sounded uh, the system adapted to the fact that we went and got a lot of the bristlebacks taken out so we can continue with the story. Um, I think it would have been a different conversation if I talked to her prior to going after the bristlebacks. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. And I appreciate Anytime, flame hair. games that are smart like that. So it's not like uh, the AI is only programmed to talk about something that, wait, this already happened. To revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I. Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. That was weird. I think a bug I'll give you something blue special blue if you win it on my boards, too. Ooh. All right. Beginner's tutorial. Status not completed. Okay. Beginner. Ooh, wow. Okay. Let's let's go to the beginning here. All right. Looks like there's elemental pieces uh on the board. Uh I'm looking at the right here under the beginner's tutorial to tutorial. Opponent set's got two pieces. Um, but we're, looks like we're at a, like a neutral green pasture. So let's let's get this going. All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakh like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? Mm-hmm. That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move. Mm-hmm. How powerful their attacks are. Mm-hmm. What's the one? The distance they can strike from. Gotcha. That makes sense. And, of course, their health. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. Sounds good. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually, you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but... This will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. I wonder if I move only one space, if it gives me some like extra uh, action points for a later move. But let's go ahead and do the full amount forward. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round, so go ahead and pick a second machine. All right, let's be a little strategic, and let's put one right here. Gotta move that machine forward. That's what I did. Just need to, um, move that machine forward, Red. I did. Oh, I see. It's got, like, an attack icon. Gotcha. Interesting. Well... Let's just move it here. Move that machine. Okay, fine. I'll move it right there. Perfect. Goodness gracious. That's not, not where I wanted to, to go. Do for now, so <laughs> just end your turn. Overcharge. I wonder what that does. Hmm. I guess it might like take health away to make a stronger attack. We'll find out. We're forging onwards. Oh no, this Let might be addictive. Move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? 
Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece when perform. You'll be testing your machine's combat. A machine's combat power oh, sorry, is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. Interesting. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Yep. All right, so let's attack. Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking. Not pulling any punches, huh? All right, then. Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? Yep. You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Interesting. Does that take anything away from my... Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Right. Now, some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. Interesting. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. Definitely a gamble move. Um... That's about it for your turn then. So I noticed that she was able to rotate the figures in the direction they look, I think. I wonder if that's something we'll learn. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. Gotcha. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. There we go. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my... There you go. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a... And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that can be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. All right. Wait, how to do? Come on then. Okay. Uh. Okay, there we go. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're going to receive your victory points before I do, which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first that's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor now you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time but you did destroy all my pieces that means you're the winner that wasn't so hard was it mm. just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from you'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that Okay, I can see how this game would, would be fun and, and addictive, which I'll is. Try and remember that. I prefer oh, over Gwent. Before I any forget, day. these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. Well, that was very nice. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after 
night of machine hunting or brew hopping. <laughs> no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. Alright, we completed the tutorial. Um... Let's do a let's let's do an actual round. Let's see how we get going with Here this. Here we go. That's um something tells me that's like a place I can't even move. So why don't we put you there? And then let's put you there. Time let's see how well I do. Make my move. You're up, Red. We attack. And... I'll go ahead and overcharge. Just really knock them down. Okay. I know that's probably gonna put them in advantage to attack me, but... Uh... Let's go over here and attack. A Get rid of that. Left? <sighs> that ain't good. Let's end our turn. Well, that's done now. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I won! Well, that was Probably quick. shouldn't sound so surprised, huh? There goes my strategy. Oh, well. Hmm. I'm gonna try it again. This is gonna be fun. I wonder if we get any experience points from winning. Let's put ourselves over here this time. Uh. My yeah. Turn. And I won't be so eager to try something fancy smanchy. That's it for me. So weak point and okay, so the weak point would be behind. Let's let's um let's do this. Right here. And turn. Up. See what they do. Ooh, not from the side. Ow! Your turn. Oh, I see. So from that this position they get a little bit stronger. Um And it seems like there's maybe even defense because it's a higher ground. So definitely being over here would help. Um Let's do this. Go right here and then attack. And then I'll overcharge. Attack again. Just one piece left. Okay, this might be a little better. So I've got two health of three all together, and then that one piece is I don't know. Something tells me she's gonna really obliterate me again, so I'm not I'm still trying to get the idea of how this is. Time to get serious. Her taking the advantage of using that upper ground was really smart. Not right. Guess luck's not nope. on your side today, Red. All right. Nope. No, it's not. I think that'll be good for now. Definitely something I'll have to sit down and play with a little bit more. I'm sure if I took these terrain tutorials, it would be a little bit um, better in my direction. But you know, hey, not bad. Not bad at all. You know what? Third time's a charm. I I feel Let's like I can play. get it this time. I, I, can't, I, I feel bad. I feel like I'm just giving up if I don't even get through this one. Alright, let's take the high ground. And set ourselves up for an attack there. And then maybe... Let's sprint here. Or maybe here. Um, I want to stay out of their reach, so let's do this. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I want them to come towards me. Board's all yours. 
So, let's not select you, let's select you. And then have you kind of position yourself there. Kind of want to keep the higher ground. If I came down here, I'd actually have a an attack right on top of them, and they don't, and they're already at a disadvantage. So let me try this, and then yeah, what I'll do the idea I guess would be I come in here, attack that, then the other character comes in and might have a little bit more. Well, let's just move back. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Me taking that middle ground kind of gives me that advantage of Your move, Red. making them more defensive, I guess. Let's see, here we go. Can I do an overcharge? Okay, I can actually take out that piece now. Armor is a machine's best defense. Let's do this. Um, and I think, yeah. Okay, cool. I think I'm finally getting that idea. You're up, Red. That was brutal. Move back up here and turn. Time to make my move. Yeah, something tells me we're going to be hopping back and forth for a while. Then turn. turn. I wonder why she won't attack. Board's all yours. Time to get serious. Definitely don't want to do the overpower attack because then I'll sacrifice my character and I won't be able to get any points out of it. It'll be a tie. Time to get serious. Huzzah! That's it. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I lost. <laughs> and I got some metal shards out of it. Okay. Too bad it's not an actual experience point. You know where to find me, Red. Yep. All right, so that's Machine Strike. That could get addictive, especially when um, I think we had more powers into it, or different uh, characters or pieces, I should say. Uh, which that's good to know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and run over here. But before we do that, we're going to do the one thing I haven't shown anything about in this game. And that's the upgrades. Hit the wrong button. Let's do some upgrading. So we have Warrior. Unlock new melee combos. Damage and effect uh, increases melee damage and effectiveness. Trapper increases effectiveness of food and traps. Hunter increases range combat effectiveness, improve weapon stamina. And uh, increases survivor. Increase the effectiveness of healing and potions and gain benefits while low in health. Infiltrator, reduce visibility and movement noise and increase damage dealt while in stealth. Machine Master, increase the effectiveness of overriding machines and the durability and damage dealt overridden techniques. So, spike throwers, sharp shot bows. So it seems like each of these areas has a different um, weapon to kind of increase to. So we've got, looks like nine points. Oh wow, what an advanced skill tree. Definitely definitely more than last uh our last game. So let's see here. Yes, we want to increase our concentration because that's our slowdown speed. We want that. And it looks like Oh, this is a passive boost and can be recognized by a circular shape. Skills in this category provide a constant increase on your basic capabilities. Learning passive boosts multiple times increase the benefits. Nice to know. So it looks like I can keep increasing it to get better concentration. Spread Blast. So that's with the Bolt Blaster. I don't have that weapon yet. Oh. I skipped over that. Sorry. So these are uh, uh, these are like a uh, kind of like uh, super moves. And each, there's like different ones for different... Oh, that's cool. High velocity. So there's different ones per category. So I have to unlock, like, I'd have to unlock this and that in order to unlock this ability to use it. I think. Yeah. Learn three connected skills to unlock, and I'm not there yet. Valor Surge Master. Build up Valor faster. Weapon Stamina. Increase your weapon stamina limit. 
Good to know. Oh, cool. So I don't have to go back to that main menu to pull up more stuff. Let's see. Quick Trapper. Let's go ahead and get some of these basics. So we can deploy quick traps quicker. Oh, I should have had this unlocked a while ago, I think. First strike. An enemy with melee attacks to build up energy in your spear. Then when fully charged, tap R2 to energize your tar target, which is that. Finally, switch the bow and shoot the energy to target to deal a large damage. You know, that probably would have been a lot nicer to use in previously. Alright, block breaker. Immediately break an enemy's weapon guard. Cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these. These look useful. In the situations that we've been in, um, it seems like that would be helpful. Uh, let's see. Nimble crafter. Craft tools, traps, and potions faster. That's nice to know. Skill of salvager. Recover more in high quality resources when destructing traps. Okay, so the, here's, so yeah, the skill trees. And there's different things. Um, yes. Provide more health and healing faster. We want that. Low health defense. What does that do? Resist more damage when in a critical health state. Okay. Is there like an actual, um, like increased health thing? I don't know yet. Triple shredder. So there's lots of different things. I wish I could zoom out so I could kind of get a better idea. Deal more damage. Uh, deal more ranged impact damage while in stealth. Okay. Uh, Silent Strike deals more damage. Let's do get that. Because that's always good to have. I'm not doing anything on the mounts yet because I, I haven't unlocked that ability, I feel like. Uh, so we're not going to deal with that. Demotic tear. Okay. Do more damage. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I'm going to skip out on those and maybe get... Let's work on our health. Because I feel like that's been that's been a real hindrance. Um, potion effect, medicine capacity. Oh, so that's how. Okay. See, in the first game, it was all about a medicine pouch, but it seems like it's a skill now, which is not a bad thing. All right. So yeah, that's the skill tree. Um, and now we're actually a little bit more powerful. I probably should have gotten these things unlocked and. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to go off screen and practice these a little more. And then I'll come back and show you how they work. But anyway. Nothing interesting happens in the claim. Thanks for watching Storytime Gamer. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, and catch me on the next episode. Thanks. Better than sticking around a bunch of eldermen with lots of spark with no metal.